guys welcome back this week i have something really really um different um well i have done everything different so far so this week we have an experiment and um it's uh, an experiment and try to be a, a problem solver i don't know if it's gonna work but we will figure it out together <laughs> i'm really scared well if i fix this my life is gonna be made i will tell you that so a couple of years ago i'll say like three years ago kate davis came out with the carbeth um sweater and i instantly bought it put it on my library and um waited forever to make it it's made in bulky weight yarn and it was gonna be a fast crop cute um and i love the color that she used which is a bright ochre kind of like yellow mustard yellow then she came out with the cardigan version and um i have them both of course uh just waiting for that day that i will be brave enough to attempt a cardigan this cardigan was not just easy to make it was fast so i use a 10 uh, us 10 um, needle size and i use a bulky or chunky weight yarn and i use the malabrigo chunky in the color frank ocre and this is what i have left from that cardigan the cardigan is done from the hem up or bottom up you make the um sweater up to your arm armholes and then you make both of your sleeves then you attach it and then you finish it up then you pick up make the color in the button band and i have to say i have never thought it was that easy uh, if you don't like purling it's not going to be the one for you but at the same time i didn't want to do that a uh, sticking and i think that was more of a scary <laughs> thought of me cutting into knitting than actually what it is so when i was just like okay so i'm going to tempt my cardigan let's do one that instead of instead of sticking i will purl which i like to purl i'm not uh, it's not my favorite stitch but uh, so this sweater was not only fast but a joy like i said um i spent a total of, like three weeks making this maybe four i don't remember exactly but i remember when i put it on it was totally worth it and it was such a beautiful silhouette color everything it was like goals then i had the greatest idea to felt it I didn't felt it on purpose let's put it that way i did a couple errors that um are like cardinal sins and um and i don't want you guys to ever do this kind of mistakes so number one i um agitated the knit when i or the cardigan when i put it up to soak so i was just like going really hard on it then i left it soaking for hours and hours and hours and um i usually used to have or before i moved to this house i used to have a top uh up top kind of like a washing machine and it had a spin cycle so i had no problem spinning my cardigan with that top loader uh, washing machine or spinning it with that machine here i have a front loader so i went ahead and put it on a pillowcase soaking wet and i place it on my washing machine my washing machine <laughs> was going around and around and around for two hours. It was too heavy for the machine to actually start that really fast spin. So it was just like moving it and moving it and moving it in two hours and a half or three almost. I was just like, this have not, I have not spin at all. So I put it out and when I pull it out, it was completely felted and um, I was devastated. <laughs> I have not even worn this once. It's so bad. And I don't know if you can see, but um, it's completely, it's completely felted. So I thought, so I thought, okay, then my daughter can have it. She could not put it on. It's so tight. It's just completely ruined. And um, it's just, it's just, it, 
this was down here and it sh shrunk like two to three inches so I <laughs> so I went on Instagram again and I pretty much cry and everybody was like oh my god never ever ever do that again but somebody gave me the greatest idea of them all so her idea was to put it on conditioner and see if I can save it and um, after tons of thoughts and thinking about it I was just like what can I lose a couple of dollars so that's exactly what I did I look online and there's apparently some can be saved not all and um, they gave you some recommendations so use tons of conditioner number one and number two use something that is sulfate free whatever at the end of the day wool is hair so I try to find the cheapest conditioner that I could find uh, sulfate free that's one of the recommendations and I found one at Trader Joe's that I bought that I bought two of this was three dollars so I bought two bottles so I was just like you know if I'm going to lose some money I prefer to use uh, to lose six dollars and see if I can save my hundred dollar worth of yarn so so I have never done this this is gonna be totally an experiment I'm gonna do it with you and we will see if it actually works so let's put this baby in water and conditioner and see if it actually works.
Okay, it's 8 <laughs> p.m. And I pretty much spend 30 minutes wrestling with that thing. It's definitely not fixed. Um, we'll see. I think at the end of the day, it didn't work. It was probably too felted for that trick. But then again, we will wait until tomorrow or the day after because um, it's really wet as well. Um, I may do a little bit more research to see if I can do something else, but I think this is definitely done. Hi guys, it's 11 a.m. the next day and um, this still is quite wet. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Actually, the pins are working really hard. He wants to go back to whatever shape, but I'm still hopeful. This, is, this will work. Okay, guys, it's the next, next day, and I'm about to take the pins out of the sweater. It's not um, dry. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and let it loose and see if um, he finished drying because it's been more, like, more than 48 hours. So, pins out and see, and maybe I need to do this again. We'll figure it out. Okay, I am inspecting the cardigan and it looks way better. I have to say, if you mildly um, <clears throat> felt your knits, you can probably get them some kind of wearable. Mine was destroyed. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on, even though it's wet and see how it looks or or just check the fit. I This definitely can be worn by, I don't know, like a 10 year old. Me, on me, it's not, it's not usable. This was down here. So it shrunk like three inches and the same for the sleeves. So this is definitely ruined. And I, at least I could put it on my arms before I couldn't put it on my arms. So it definitely helped a tiny bit but not in any way or form. It's just, it's truly felt it, so. It's cute though. I don't know, maybe. So if you see here, I have no movement <laughs> on my arms. So my arms, uh, I don't have, um, it's, not, it's not moving. It's just so uncomfortable. Anyway, sadly, it's, it's a giveaway. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't think it's even so I can get in here, but I'm so sad. Yeah, conditioner, don't work. <laughs> Works on mildly felted, like I said, not heavily felted or ruined at all. You see, I cannot even close it. Anyway, that's it, fail.